Eve, and 2019 is winding down. Celebrations are happening across the east, including the city of Greenville. The city is teaming up with Greenville JCs for the first ever New Year's Eve celebration at the Town Common. It's complete with an emerald ball drop. We're just hours away from that ball drop, of course, one hour away. That's where we find nine of your signs, Angie Casada and Marquis Mita, the MCs for tonight's festivities. How's it going out there? <laughs> <laughs> well, the temperatures, as Alyssa mentioned, are extremely cold right now, but the atmosphere could not be hotter. We oh, are ready to kick off 2020, saying goodbye to 2019 yep. and moving into a brand new decade. Absolutely. I can't believe it, Mark. He's a new decade. Listen, you still have plenty of time to make it out if you haven't left the house. There's an amazing live band that's been the entertainment of the evening. Uh, the Dickens Band. They just started <laughs> jamming out. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Uh, they're straight out of Greensboro. There's also uh, local food vendors that are set up behind us, grilling out, and they have also a photo booth by Tap Snap. So you could actually Record what's going on tonight, which is amazing. Um, so much going on tonight. And, oh, yeah. and speaking more about the band, they've been killing it. They went on at first at nine o'clock, played for an hour and a half. Yeah. Every single cover song that you could possibly imagine, <laughs> they probably touched on something that you would like. Absolutely. From hip hop to R and B, rock, maybe some pop in there as oh, well. Oh yeah. So they've been amazing, and we're keeping it local here in Greenville. Speaking of local, you want to talk about the the ball that we're dropping? Yes, today? the Emerald Ball. That's probably the hi most highly anticipated feature for tonight. It's the Emerald Ball. It was built by HydroCut right out of Winterville. And uh, yeah, it's going to drop as soon as the clock hits 12. And that's not all. There's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal firework display, which I'm really excited about because the biggest thing is that I missed July 4th. You were here, jealous, but I'm going to get to see it tonight. So that's going to be happening as soon as the ball drops and as soon as it turns uh, 2020. So it's going to be great. And speaking of uh, 2020, what's your New Year's resolution, Marquis? Oh, you're getting me again with the New Year's resolution. All right, so mine, I, you're going to one up me for sure, but okay. mine, I went into today, I was like, my New Year's resolution has to be texting people back in an appropriate manner. Yeah. I have so <laughs> many unread text messages on my phone. So, as you mentioned, it's all about making the intent, yes. it, being intentional, yes. and delivering that message and communication as well. Oh, yeah. And you know, speaking of New Year's resolutions, I think, like I said, I want to be intentional. I want to be intentional with my money, my family, uh, just communicating with people, like you said, Marquise, and just being intentional with upgrading my life in every way possible so I encourage all of you to do the same but you know what speaking of resolutions I'm curious to know what night on your side Aaron Dean has to say he's actually live in the park right now and Aaron what's your New Year's resolution Hey Angie, hey Marquis. So my New Year's resolution is to channel my inner Beyonce no matter what day of the week it is. But right now I am here with Drew. He is a student at ECU. And Drew, kind of tell us a little bit, what are some of your New Year's resolutions for 2020? Well, uh, pretty standard stuff to start off with. Just working on being healthier, working out more, and really trying to schedule that into my day. But overall, I have one more semester at ECU, so I want to work on finishing strong and doing well. And so what are some of the ways that you will kind of stay on track with your resolutions? Uh, well, I just want to set goals and have everything written out in my planner to make sure everything is scheduled, as I said, and just really working on my work-life balance because I do have full t two full-time jobs. I'll be working along with my uh, full-time uh, schooling. And so for you, why is it important for you to set these goals every time a new year comes around? Because uh, if, if you don't set goals, you won't really know how to accomplish these things because when you set these goals, you kind of you say to yourself, this is what I'm going to do, and you start working on how to get there. All right, well, thank you so much, Drew, and best of luck to you in 2020. And Shayla, I am going to toss it back to you in the studio, and I'm going to kind of throw you a curveball. What are some of your New Year's resolutions? That is a good question, and luckily I have a few more minutes to solidify those. Mine are a little less intentional right now, but I do know one thing I want to do is to keep being creative, keep sharing my creativity with others, and seeing where that journey leads. So we'll see how that goes in 2020. Thanks so much, Aaron. And just a reminder, the New Year's Eve celebration at the Town Common will run a little after midnight. Nine of your side is a proud sponsor of the event, and we hope to see you out there.